lot of people want to know sometimes like, hey, why'd you end up starting Steven Stevens? And you know, the honest truth is I just was trying to come up with an idea to figure out how to make more money. And I was working a job right out of college and came to dad was like, hey man, I got some ideas. I'd never started a business before. So uh, we were like, yeah, man, we've done this before. We both grew up with his father and my grandfather. And we were like, yeah, man, we got this. We got this figured out. So what do you think? For me, it was, so I was at that time when he presented me with that, uh, that offer uh, or idea. I was actually running my dad's loss at care service, but I was driving, I'll say, uh, Five, six hundred miles per week. Yeah. You know, to and from uh, my dad's. And I did that for five years straight. And uh, it was coming like, so it was a job. I love my dad. Um, I love to see my dad not out there like he was because he had me. But at the same time, it was becoming monotonous. You know, and I was just, I thought I'd be like, maybe take over his business and you know and after a while i saw that that wasn't the case and, you know like i said that's my dad i love my dad he presented me that idea so i was like why not you know what i mean and, you know i always saw my dad my dad's always been good with money. you know so i'm looking at all the stuff that my dad had like he, he got bought this big rv his house is big he's always been awesome with money. so i was like I'm gonna be like my dad. Yeah, start my own business. I, you know, I, I thought I was gonna be rich and I could retire in like four years. And, uh, when you get into business, uh, that's what he for. Uh, <laughs> there's an aspect of business where you have to know your numbers. Uh, you have to know budgeting. You have to know how to manage money. I needed a lot of help with that. And uh, that's almost like, he learned a lot. We both learned a lot. Um, we didn't learn enough about the business stuff, though. We had to learn yeah. that on the fly. Yeah, we learned that on the fly, yeah. but, you know, we took care of customers. Uh, you know, I've always been into, I, I, I take pride in my work. And uh, so he he says quality. I say pride. Yeah, um, we put quality. Like, yeah. Quality service. They like, take pride in his work. Make sure all the attention to detail is paid. Right. And then my dad was a stickler on always showing up and actually it was one of his customers that uh came up to me one time and, and uh she said you guys always do great work but she was like i could set my time each day of the week that you're supposed to be there she was like i could set my time like that because you guys are gonna be there my dad always told me to always show up so like we started our own business like you said we it's a lot we had to learn we was learning on the fly but we both have a, a goal. We both have our dreams, and, and we, we've met a lot of goals, and we're still working towards a lot of goals. And it's like um, I've seen the growth. You know, I, I probably, I probably would have gave up. I love my customers, but this this guy he motivated. Me, you know what I'm saying? Well, to be fair, we always tell people. Um, I, I do motivate. I, I have a vision. I like to sell the vision. I definitely was like, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. But 2020, he covered because I was out. 2020 was tough for me. So 2020, I was like checked out. I was like, whatever. We lost a lot of customers, weren't making the money. It was tough for everybody. And I was half in. This man was like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? So he he, he tapped in when he needed to. So we both make it work. You know what I mean? Uh, but definitely starting it, just try our own thing. and. Like you said, he, he left that uh, company. I was trying to get a little nice investment going. But along the way, we learned that uh, customers teach us a lot of ways how we can handle them better. I always tell people we learn from them, you know, like how they invoice, how they remind, uh, what are some conveniences and qualities and services they would look for. And then we try to implement that. And then, you know, with his attention to detail, you want to make sure he make uh, do, do a good job when that happens. And uh, one of our toughest challenges, for example, recently has just been trying to instill that, like you said, to uh, employees. So that's a challenge too. But that's definitely why we started. So we definitely started to hopefully, you know, he said become rich one day, but you know, <laughs> provide a great quality. And I was looking for that investment, but we continue to learn and evolve. And that's why we're able to get through hardships like 